welcome back to the channel guys welcome back to the another video in today's video i'm going to talk about a really really important topic and that is about the battery trading on the ios 26 and i'm getting so many comments and i'm seeing so many posts on threads and everyone is talking about the battery training even friends in my family talking about the battery training even i talk about the battery training yesterday and how the battery life is not that impressive not that good even rc update was better so things are not that good as you can see today my battery is at 11 percent usually i never let my device go beyond 20 percent but yesterday battery drops really quick today also battery drops quick so something is going on and actually i'm going to talk about in this video everything i will be talking about apple take on this and i will be talking about some tips and tricks that you can do uh, to fix the uh, battery life and stuff so without any further delay let's get jump into this video so first of all as i you know talk about the issue the battery draining is going on and there are many ways to fix this battery draining but the best possible way is that apple brings an update but for now we are not sure when the update is coming until that we can do some stuff but before that i want to talk about some stats over here so let's get into the se settings let's get into the battery section as you can see now battery drops at 10 percent is now okay so over here as you can see my battery dropped real quick i use 67 percent of my device today and it got 6 hours and 12 minutes you know time which is not that impressive yesterday i go, got more than 100 percent usage and i got 7 hours and 47 minutes i was not happy yesterday too so something is definitely off even i'm getting on messages on instagram people are not happy with the a guy shared a battery stat he got around 5 hours of screen on time for the almost 100 percent so that is not good so yeah that is the issue going on no there's an, a press release from the apple on this and this is a huge long press release if you want to read you can go to their website and read this press release but over here if i go to the performance and battery section they say apple hardware and software are designed together to deliver great performance and great battery life no doubt on that immediately after completing an update particularly a major release you might notice a temporary impact on the battery life and thermal performance now as you can see it says after completing in a particular a major release you know i was 26 a major release it's a really big update big update in a decade so they say um, when you update on ios 26 because that's a major update you might notice or might see a temporary impact on the battery life and thermal performance this is normal so they are saying this is completely normal don't worry guys as the device needs time to complete the setup process in the background including indexing data files for search downloading new assets and updating apps and i do agree to this one and i think i was you know as you know i was always take a couple of, couple of days to get stable and I still believe like from three to four days just give it three to four days it will definitely gonna get better now one thing why i believe this is true because if i go over here and i share something for you guys for example if we go on yesterday you can see these um orange you know it is giving me kind of a warning that it is consuming a lot of battery life well for now many apps are not that optimized for the ios 26 continuously updates are coming but in the background these apps are trying to settle down and that will definitely consume even more battery life like if i go a couple of days back when i was on rc update maybe on this day let's say as you can see there is no orange color over here no orange sign on any app because everyone everything was stable everything was working fine but after the major release uh now there is stuff that needs to get stable and according to the apple the things will get better so don't worry about this this is normal as it does need to come it is time to complete the setup process in the background so it will definitely get better now meanwhile what you guys can do on this well here are some tips so now tips are divided into two different sections in first section i will be talking about the tips of charging your iphone in the second section i will be talking about some settings that you can you know turn off to get a better battery life until apple fix it so let's talk about tips of charging now whenever your device is around 20 percent like for now my device is around 10 percent i'm showing this video i will right after this video i will put this device on a charging whenever your device is around 20 percent before it go below 20 percent put your device on charging and charge up to 80 percent that is what is that is a recommendation by apple even 
um i usually charge up to 85 percent because i need to you know do, do some testing and all that stuff but it is better to charge until 80 percent you can put charging limit if you don't have option of charging limit like in like old iphones you can turn on the optimized battery charging so do this and it will give you a much better battery life and hopefully it will definitely gonna stop the battery draining now the other a tip for charging is never use cheap chargers never use copy chargers never use android cables usb type c or whatever and never use cheap cables always get good uh, cables and good chargers see you're getting iphone a way expensive device and you are you know compromising on data cables and chargers that will definitely destroy the battery life of your iphone so don't do that buy good chargers buy chargers from certified companies um, there are some certified companies by the apple so you can go and check out that on the google and buy stuff from there and it will help to improve the battery life and stop the battery training on your iphone so these are some of the charging tips now let's talk about some of the tricks that you can do for the settings to get a better battery life now go over here get into the privacy and security and into over here get into the tracking turn this off and it will off for everyone well, when this is on, it, the apps are tracking in the background that consumes a lot of battery life. So just turn this off. Go back from here. Go into the location services. Over here, as you can see, there are some applications that are using every single day. And I use these apps and use their um, location too. Now, I choose while using the app. Now, there is another option that is known as always. If you are on always, even you are not using that particular app, um, it your location will be you know using in the background it will be consuming a lot of battery life so always go for the while using the app or ask next time or when i share that is the best option i prefer while using the app never choose always option it will you know destroy the battery life of your device now stay in the location services go all the way down into the system services go all the way down over here there will be an option of product improvement as you can see four different options available turn these option off you will get a much 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 better battery life now go back from here go back from here get over here stay in the privacy and security go all the way down into the analytics and improvement by default these options are on basically what they do they share data with the apple so they can you know improve their products but they are not doing something for you they are consuming battery life in the background so what you need to do is just turn them off as you can see i turn them off so just go and turn the settings off too and by doing this you will be able to go get good battery life and in go into the apple apple advertising and turn this on too now by doing all of this stuff you will be getting hopefully a better battery life a much better battery life but the main thing is apple is the one who needs to fix this or you know, as they um said in this press release just give it a couple of days and it will get better and what you can do is you can wait, you can do these settings and follow stuff that I talk about in this video. So don't worry guys, I know people are not happy with how things are going on. Even I'm not happy with how the things are going on. But definitely, definitely it will hopefully get better in a couple of days. And we are also expecting iOS 18.0, uh, sorry, we are expecting iOS 26.0.1 or maybe 26.1 beta 1. I will be talking about those in a separate video. So yeah, that's all from this video. And I hope to catch you guys in my next video. Until then, take care. Peace out.